Welcome to um, probably the first of maybe a few, hopefully a few more, let's see if this works out well, of a yap fest. Um, so uh, I thought this would be a good idea to explain uh, my thoughts on things in a comedic approach because I have a lot to yap about sometimes and I figured a podcast would be a good way to get it out. So um, anyways, let's get rolling. Well, um, anyways, have you ever thought about, like, what the future generation has in store for us? Because back before Jen Alpha was the star of Make Fun of Young Kids That Are, like, Six Years Old show, it was Gen Z. And, frankly, I kind of don't blame the older generations for it, but at the same time, being a Gen Zer myself, give us some slack, man. We're, we, we were, like, kids, like, you're making fun of... 18 and 19 year old and, and even like 12 year olds because that's the age range of Gen Z well like a lot of people like to compare their work ethic now with with what with what they have then and it kind of is hypocrisy in a way because Gen Alpha there's something else man I'm, 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 I'm just gonna state that right there because Skibbity toilet, lanky box. Yeah! Skibbity Ohio Phantom Tax Riz. I, I I said it. There we go. So funny, you know. Um, like people consider it brain rot, but at the same time, I'd have to say, us Gen Z kids also watched a, our fair share of brain rot. But I feel like we also kind of had a balance. But the millennials, who are the parents of Gen Alpha, just throw their an iPad at their kids by the age of two and get them like, shut up, stop crying, here's an iPad. And if you ever thought about the future, when we're old, when I'm like 80, I'm old, I'm, old, I'm probably going to need a, some sort of transplant, those kids are going to be our doctors and presidents and lawyers and the people that run the world when we're old and they're gonna have been grown up on skibbity toilet but at the same time people would make fun of gen x and millennials and boomers the older generations back in the 1940s 50s and 60s saying saying these kids are glued to the television they're gonna they're not gonna go outside anymore but it, it turned out fine so at the same time, I feel like it's gonna be okay in a way. It's just gonna be different because each generation kind of has their own style, if you know what I mean. Like boomers were the ones that that stopped following the status quo. Gen X were the ones that that started the alternative movement. Millennials started the internet. Gen Z grew up with the internet and Gen Alpha is having unlimited access to the internet and that is where I think the first problem starts unlimited access to the internet <laughs> like me I, I, I semi grew up on the internet because like I would play I would play games with my friends online and, and that but at the same time I went outside I did stuff I rode my bike you know but I, I don't think they're gonna be doing that much but at the same time give them some slack they're like six years old like like what the hell dude well anyways um i know it's a short episode um it's the first episode i know i used a lot of filler words i'll probably improve that and if this does well i'll bring my friends on we'll have discussions and uh anyways that's a wrap good night wait isn't it morning Oh yeah.